Bit depth is the measurement of bits captured per sample while recording. A higher bit depth will result in an increased dynamic range. 16-bit files are standard for CDs. 24-bit files are the standard for production audio workflows. 32-bit float files are ideal for capturing audio with high dynamic range. The increased dynamic range means that any signal recorded too low or too high can be adjusted in post, salvaging the audio. Here we see a 24-bit and a 32-bit float file recorded simultaneously with too much gain. Both audio files are distorted. When reducing the gain by 30 dB, the 24-bit file is still distorted even when at a normal playback level. Reducing the gain of the 32-bit float file yields a usable file at normal playback levels. For this sound effect recording session, we used a MixPre 6.2 recording in 32-bit float mode at 192 kHz. The mic was a Sanken CO100K with a windscreen. The spray was captured at a nominal level, but the audio clips when the car engine is revved. Here is the original audio as it was recorded. Let's import the ISO channel from the recording session into Isotope RX7. There is normal audio here, and very loud audio here. To normalize the audio of a 32-bit float file in a DAW, the clip gain itself needs to be normalized. Adjusting the master bus output or headphone volume will not bring the audio down to a normalized level. I'll select the distorted region and reduce the clip gain by 22 dB. Let's play the audio after it has been normalized. and compare it to the unprocessed audio. If we wanted to deliver this to post, and 32-bit float files aren't supported in that workflow, we can bounce this to a 24-bit file. We see the file reopen, and the levels are still nominal after the bounce. We'll see you next time for more video tutorials.